Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way and hashtag Tea Tuesday. Yes, I've got iced tea, my Gold Peak bottled iced tea. And I know I've heard from a lot of you that say that you can drink uh, hot, ice, hot iced tea. You can drink hot tea <laughs> any time of the year. Even in the hot weather, you drink hot tea, you know, hot coffee, whatever. No, I can't do that. No. I will crave, literally crave, hot tea or hot cocoa in the cold weather. But in the summertime, when it's really, really hot, like here in Florida, I have to have an iced cold drink. Basically, iced tea or a Pepsi, okay? That's my type of quenching beverage. But each to his own. So, anyway, what's going on here? Today is pretty quiet, but this morning I got out and ran a few errands. I had to do some shopping errands today. Yes, I did. So, I started off in Hobby Lobby. I wanted to take a look at all the fall decorations there and see what they have in for Christmas now, because typically they'll start having everything, you know, for Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas all together, but keep getting in shipments of goods, you know, until the holidays are over. So let me take you to my Hobby Lobby stop first, right here. I am out enjoying the day today and doing a little shopping on my own. My co-passenger, my co-pilot here, isn't here today. He decided he needed to stay home and rest, so I'm going shopping. First stop, Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. Got to see what's new for the fall, and I'm sure by now they even have Christmas, some Christmas anyway, decorations out. Let me take you in. Here we are, and here I come, Hobby Lobby. Definitely a lot of fall. A lot of fall colors and the flowers that they have available. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. No, it's not real. But also we got some Christmas. Mixed in with the fall first aisle I came to with the Christmas stuff. Mm-hmm. 50% off. Oh, yeah. I'm going shopping. And Christmas wrap, of course. But straight ahead, you can see it's it's um, pumpkins. If you can't find any decoration here. You can't find it anywhere. Christmas back to Thanksgiving. Christmas.
Oops. <laughs> They're still setting up, but they've got a lot out, that's for sure. here 40% off and another aisle I love this minky stuff it is so soft mm. mm -hmm. one of these days I'm gonna make a robe for me out of that oh that's pretty Oh, pretty, pretty colors. Yeah, that was a quick one. And at Hobby Lobby, I, I looked at all of the holiday stuff, you know, but I didn't see anything that I really had to have. Um, they have some really, really nice stuff. And I was really surprised at the cost. Um, a lot of things were on sale for 40 or 50 percent off but you know i think that's a gimmick really because they, they mark things up price wise and then they say 40 percent off you know 50 percent off whatever yeah except in their fabric department <laughs> yep i bought some fabric i bought some yardage of flannel it was 40 percent off the price original price was 6.99 a yard so for 40% off, I figured I had to get me some flannel. And yeah, this is gonna be for a, a night nightgown. And I've got a couple months yet to figure out which one I wanna make, you know. But this is gonna be really, really nice. And that is really all I bought at Hobby Lobby. Next, I went to Dollar Tree. Hadn't been there for several months, so I thought, let me go check out and see what the fall stuff is. You know, it's seasonal. They should have some Halloween stuff, some fall, maybe some Thanksgiving. So I stopped in and took a look. Here's Dollar Tree. I'm at my next stop. After this, I hit the grocery store and then I head for home. But I'm going to go take a look inside this store and see what they've got new for fall. Here I am at Dollar Tree. Just a little bit. Had to show you, I've never seen the freezer compartment so empty. I mean, this is really empty. Yeah, I was really surprised to see the empty shelves there. Especially at this Dollar Tree that I normally go to, the aisles are usually packed full of boxes that are full of merchandise. But it wasn't that way this time at all. There were many empty shelf areas throughout the store and I, I took a film of the freezer area which is usually chock full of stuff it was pretty empty pretty bare looking matter of fact when I was filming it um, there was one lady that came around the corner from where I was she was gonna get something out of the freezer she stopped took one look and turned around what she wanted was not there so that it was surprising I've never seen the um, well especially the freezer 
and a lot of the shelves there. I've never seen it that bare in the times that I've been going there. So it was rather surprising. I did find a few things that I wanted. Not a lot, but I mean, I bought some stationary goods, you know, my typical pad of notepad paper and some pens and um, some cards. But I also wanted to show you this one product that I, I do buy there. I don't find it very often in the grocery store, but it's the Reynolds Wrap Foil Wraps. And are there foil sheets, really? I like these. When I do a hamburger dinner in a foil or, you know, dinner in a foil period, I'll put a couple of these together and use that as the wrap, and it works really, really good. So there's 25 in this box, and it was $1.25. Okay, yes, everything at my Dollar Tree now is $1.25. And the, another reason why I wanted to stop at the Dollar Tree was because I've seen videos from other people who have found really neat um, craft goods there. I was surprised at that too because my Dollar Tree now is getting in, well they had a lot of sewing goods, which I looked through but I didn't need anything. They had some crafty goods, you know, out of the thin layer of wood, but nothing that I really wanted to get. But I was surprised that they had a quantity. So maybe they are changing their supply a little bit. But I didn't buy too much from there really. And from there I went on to get the groceries that I really set out to get to begin with. I had to stop at Winn-Dixie, a grocery store in the area, because William likes a certain product that I can only get there. And I got what he wanted and then I went on to Publix where I do the max of my grocery shopping and there too I had to substitute a few items but I particularly wanted to get the BOGO items because you know take advantage of the sales which I did actually at Winn-Dixie as well there were a few BOGOs there that were normal for us to get so I figured why not I just stocked up that you know hey why not but Shortly after I got home this afternoon, um, William mentioned something about wanting to go out for dinner tonight. So I thought, hey, great. I don't have to cook. <laughs> so I'm all in for that one. Yeah. So thank goodness later on, we're going to be going out for dinner. Good. So that's about all I have for that's going on around here today. Just a little shopping trip and now relaxing at home for a while. Hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care, and I'll be talking to you again real soon, but for this time, it's bye for this Tea Tuesday. Yeah, this does it for me.